Release your seatbelts and come this way. Leave your belongings. Hurry down nothing. the stairs. Come this way. Hurry down the stairs. Wow. Gosh. We're told, by the way, we're told Patrick did escape uh, unscathed <laughs> from the simulator. Good so to hear. We're He's, happy uh, about that. He is okay. We're also talking to a special event. We've got some guests here with us talking about something happening on Chicago's North Side. Metro Theater on the North Side will hold a three night multimedia concert in honor of the legendary Wax Tracks Records, appropriately called the Wax Tracks 33 and a third year. <laughs> anniversary. Metro owner Joe Shanahan is here and Julia Nash whose father was one of the founders of Wax Tracks. <laughs> Thanks for being here guys. Good morning. This Ta is so cool. I think anyone who grew up in Chicago remembers <laughs> Wax Tracks with some degree of nostalgia. You maybe you bought your first album there. You got to hear from people so frequently about it. Well for Metro um, we sold some of our first tickets through Wax Tracks. So when I was opening the club in 82 Jim and Danny were really a partner of mine. Uh, we would do events together. We would sell tickets together uh, and certainly had some, some great nights together. Um, great music label, right? I mean, and Julia, what about, how, how did this start, this anniversary event? Um, well, uh, the, I guess it was the day after, or the day of Danny passing, Correct. Joe mm -hmm. reached out to me mm. uh, to offer his condolences, see how I was doing. And um, we had talked in the past about doing some sort of an event. However, it, the timing wasn't right. But now with Danny's passing, it was like the end of an era. Yeah. You know, so. And one of the things I think is interesting, too, is at the beginning, it was, it was simply a record store on Lincoln Avenue. Right. And it was kind of a, what, a counterculture, kind of edgy, gritty place. How would you describe it? Yeah. And, and then, you know, how did it become a big deal that it became? It was the marketplace for the disenfranchised. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a store that you went to on Saturday morning to see your friends, to buy a record, to, you know, talk about your week, um, spend money with with your dad right. yeah. and and it was a great place to, to sort of socialize as well as get in tune with some of the great new powerful music that was coming out. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So as your dad uh, Jim Nash and Danny Flesher uh, longtime partners and I know as you mentioned both have, uh, have passed away but what they were known as I understand it as, as guys who really enjoyed a good party what would they think about this event you're putting together this weekend? Uh, well I would hope they would be Super proud. Yes. Uh, it's yeah. it's gonna be um, it's gonna be super emotional. I think I I've been imagine. working so hard right. to get it done that none of that is caught up with me. Uh, that's gonna collapse. But I think so. they they would be so excited. Not I think only, they would be so excited. Not only proud, they'd be in there right with us. Right. You know, Aww. whether they be behind the bar or spinning the records yeah. or helping the bands on and off stage. I mean, your father and Danny were really part of a community, a music community in its infancy. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. iconic store, iconic label, and uh, that's what we're, we're going to celebrate. And that was, that's just it too, because their love for everything, their yeah. love for the music, didn't, they weren't a sit back and let it happen <laughs> kind of people. They made it happen, you know. That's right. Tell us about the music we will hear. I mean, you're putting the bands back together in yes. some form or fashion, that. right? Julia <laughs> and uh, Mark, her husband, <laughs> have worked very hard behind the scenes to contact bands from Belgium, bands from LA, uh, bands from Germany, uh, to bring them back to Chicago kind of one more time to, right. to celebrate and uh, have a memorial, but uh, in, a, in a celebration party atmosphere that Jim and Danny would really approve of. Right. How neat is that? Sure. Give us a couple of names of the bands that maybe folks remember from the old days that might uh, um, Well, be it's, it's a super special occasion because it's Front 242's 30th anniversary, so they're right. playing the only United States show for that. Oh, cool. um, and they're going to play Friday and Sunday as well. So they're on both of those bills. Uh, Revolting Cox uh, are another sort of some of the early members reformulated. So they're kind learning their group. songs yeah, yeah, yeah. after okay. 20 years. Okay. So they're playing again. My Life of the Thrill Kill Cult. Thrill Kill Cult, mm -hmm. KMFDM. Uh, Rights of the Accused, which was one of the well. a local, a local band that mm -hmm. was on the Wax Tracks label. Um, as well as another thing is that a lot of the staff from Wax Tracks have Coming reunited oh. to DJ. They're all going to DJ oh, throughout the oh. throughout the three nights. Oh. So we're going to well. the bands will go to midnight and then the DJs yeah. will go till the wee hours of the morning, which will be another thing that I think that Jim and Jim will have a blast. Julia, and hope you get Joe, through it, you. Julia. That's thank awesome. you. Tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday at the Metro. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy Thursday.